Yo, what if I told you your Flipper Zero has its own secret social network? A place where you can connect with other Flipper owners all over the world. A community hub that lives right on the device. Now, most people have no clue this exists because it's not something you can get access to right out of the box. It takes a little bit of setup to unlock and today I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. You've probably seen the flipper do some really wild things, but its true power is unlocked by the community around it. The only catch is that the flipper is an incredible offline tool. But what if we could change that? What if we could give the flipper a bridge to the internet? Well, that's where Flipper HTTP comes in. I'm Jay Blanks, and today we're going to pull back the curtain. I'll guide you step by step through flashing your Wi Fi dev board to get your Flipper online and unlock this hidden world. We're going to get you logged into Flip Social, the very first social media app for the Flipper Zero, so you can see this secret online network for yourself. So grab your flipper, grab your dev board, and let's get you connected. So what's this magic firmware making it all possible? Flipper HTTP is a custom firmware library I created that runs on the Wi-Fi developer board or another compatible ESP32. Basically, it teaches your flipper how to speak web. Now, your flipper is powerful on its own, but it's isolated. With Flipper HTTP, you're building a bridge between your flipper and the entire internet. And this opens up a whole ecosystem of online apps that I've developed. I'm not just talking about the social network Flip Social. This firmware powers apps like Flip Downloader which is a marketplace for downloading other apps directly on your device without needing a computer. There's also Flip Weather for weather info, Flip Trader for checking stocks, and even multiplayer games like Flip World and Free Roam. The main thing to understand is that Flipper HTTP is the foundation. It's the secret sauce letting developers build a whole new class of apps that just weren't possible before. By installing it, you're not just getting one app, you're fundamentally upgrading your flipper's capabilities for all sorts of future internet connected tools. It turns the flipper from a standalone gadget into a true untethered sidekick. Our focus today is getting you on that hidden social network, Flip Social, but what you're unlocking is massive. All right, before we get into it, let's get our toolkit ready. The good news is you don't need a lot of gear. First up, obviously you need your Flipper Zero. Make sure it's charged and running the latest official firmware or a popular custom one like Momentum. It's always a good idea to update your Flipper before installing powerful new apps just to avoid any weird issues. Second, you'll need a Wi-Fi developer board. I'll be using the official one for this tutorial because it's the most common. But Flipper HTTP works with a bunch of other boards too, like the Raspberry Pi Pico W, the Pico Calc, the ESP32 C5, the BW16, and other ESP32 models. If you have one of these, you can totally follow along, though the flashing part might be a little different. Third is software. You need two apps on your flipper, both available in the official app catalog. The most important one is the ESP Flasher app. Now this awesome tool lets you flash firmware onto ESP chips directly from your flipper. No computer needed. You also need the new Flipper HTTP companion app, which we'll use later to connect to your Wi-Fi network. And finally, you'll need a computer with the QFlipper application installed. If you don't have it, go to flipper01.one slash downloads, scroll down and download the one for your operating system. 
We'll only need this for a second to drag some files onto your Flipper's SD card. That's it. Your Flipper, a dev board, and a couple of apps are all that stand between you and the Flipper's secret online world. Now, this is where the magic happens, so let's walk through it carefully. We're going to download the Flipper HTTP firmware, move it to the Flipper, and then use the ESP Flasher app to flash it onto your Wi Fi dev board. Okay, first we need the firmware files. Head over to the official Flipper HTTP GitHub repository. I'll have it linked down in the description below. Once you're there, click on the Wi-Fi developer board folder and download three specific files to your computer. The first is Flipper HTTP bootloader.bin. Next, we have Flipper HTTP partitions.bin. And then lastly, flipper HTTP firmware a dot bin. Next, plug your flipper zero into your computer and open the Q flipper application. We're going to use the file manager to drop those three bin files into a specific folder on your flippers SD card. You need to navigate to SD card and then click on apps data and then go to ESP flasher. Now, if you don't see the ESP Flasher folder, no worries. Just run the ESP Flasher app on your Flipper once and it will create the folder for you. Now, just drag and drop the three files you downloaded right into that folder. Once they're copied, you can unplug your Flipper. We're done with the computer. Now, for the main event, make sure your Wi Fi dev board is not plugged into your flipper and then power off your flipper completely. Now, connect the Wi Fi dev board to your flipper's GPIO pins up top and then power the flipper back on. There's also a little shortcut. You can turn on the flipper first and then hold down the boot button on the dev board as you plug it in. Now, this can save you a couple of button presses in a minute. With the dev board connected, navigate to your flipper's app menu. You're going to go into the GPIO section and open the ESP Flasher app. Inside the app, you'll see a few options. Now, if you didn't use the boot button shortcut, you'll want to select reset board first, then go back and select enter bootloader. You need to wait on this screen until it says waiting for download. Once you see that message, it's time to flash. So go back, scroll back up and select the option manual flash. If you don't see that option, just click flash ESP. Now we got to get this part right. We need to tell the app which files goes where. So for the bootloader, select the flipper HTTP bootloader file. Next for part table, select the flipper HTTP partitions file. Finally, for firmware A, select the flipper HTTP firmware A file. Double check you have the right file in each slot. And once you're sure, scroll down and hit flash fast. The process will start erasing the board and writing the new firmware. Now this should only take about 25 to 30 seconds. So don't interrupt it while it's doing its thing. And you'll know it worked when the LED on your Wi Fi dev board flashes green three times. That's the signal that Flipper HTTP is installed. Give this another second and we should be good to go. There we go, 33 seconds. And the very last step is to press the physical reset button on the dev board itself. And that's it. Your Wi Fi dev board is now an internet gateway for your Flipper Zero. You've successfully flashed Flipper HTTP. 
hey, if you're finding this guide helpful and you're pumped to get your flipper online, do me a quick favor and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out and it's free. And make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on other cool flipper projects like the upcoming flipper one. All right, let's go check out the network we just unlocked. With the hard part done, it's time for the payoff. We're ready to get online and explore Flip Social. First, let's connect to your Wi-Fi. On your Flipper, find and open the Flipper HTTP companion app we installed earlier. In the app, scroll down and click settings, and then type in your Wi-Fi SSID and your Wi-Fi password. The username and user password is used in Flip Social and the other Flipper HTTP apps that require a login. Then go and click back, scroll up and click run, then go over and click connect. Once you see the Wi-Fi saved and connected message, you can click back to leave and exit the app or click on status to see if your Wi-Fi is connected. Okay, now let's go back, back, back again. And now we're gonna open the Flip Social app. Inside of Flip Social, go down and click settings. You'll notice that your Wi-Fi SSID, Wi-Fi password, your username and user password are already filled in from the Flipper HTTP companion app. If this did not happen, Make sure you're using the latest version of Flip Social and the latest version of the Flipper HTTP companion app. The username and user password are used to register or log you into Flip Social. So now go and click back, then go up and click run, and then now click feed. Within feed, you can see the latest posts from other Flipper users around the world. You can scroll through messages, see what other people are up to, and even flip a post, which is Flip Social's version of a like. But this is a social network, right? So let's be social. You can create your own post within the app. Now, typing with a D-pad isn't exactly fun, but for Flip Social, I designed a pretty smart workaround. Customizable pre-saved messages. You can either edit a text file on your SD card to make a list of phrases you use a lot, or just create new ones right in the app. Now, beyond the main feed, there's an explore page to find other users, there's a profile where you can see your friends, your bio, and when you joined, and there's even direct messaging. You can find someone on the network and send them a private message all from your flipper. It's literally a whole social network right in your pocket. Now, a feature I'm really proud of is how your account syncs with other flipper HTTP apps. That's why it was crucial that we typed in our credentials correctly in the Flipper HTTP companion app. The profile you create for Flip Social is the same one you use for multiplayer games like Flip World and Free Roam. So your identity and friends list carry over. You're not just joining an app, you're creating a profile for a whole growing ecosystem. So there you go, we've taken a standard offline Flipper Zero and turned it into a gateway to a hidden online community. By flashing the Wi-Fi dev board with Flipper HTTP, you've unlocked a totally new dimension for this device. You're now on Flip Social, a social network built by and for the community. This project is a perfect example of what makes the Flipper Zero so awesome. We aren't just using a tool, we're literally building a network on top of it to connect with each other. I definitely encourage you to jump in, check out the feed and say hello. See what other Flipper owners are talking about and say hi. And what we did today is really just the starting point. 
With Flipper HTTP installed, you can now check out the other internet powered apps. So get out there and start experimenting. Let me know in the comments what you think about Flip Social and what other Flipper HTTP apps you want me to cover next. I'm Jay Blanks. Thanks for watching. Peace.